Hey, it's Matt. Welcome back to me. Sorry about that last one. I actually stepped away for a couple hours, had some errands to run, and kind of diving back in where I left off in regards to gear paralysis. I've been just doing a little bit of looking and um, going through, you know, some of the Isle of Dread stuff, and it's like, what I'm finding for myself and for my particular characters, especially, you know, in cases where I think, I feel like I've really got things kind of dialed in, um, trying to make the transition from 29 gear to 31 gear, and maintaining what I've got, you know, not losing anything, but improving areas. It's just, I'm, you know, finding challenges here or there to um, accomplish that. For example, uh, this build, I feel like I've got dialed in really, really pretty well. This is Cataclysm. She's a level 32 pure um, warlock. I featured her in a few of my videos before because I do feel like this is a build that I have dialed in really pretty well. Um, very effective in what she does. She's uh, primarily fire and light damage in her uh, enhancement tree, enlightened spirit, all the way to the top. I'm using Fade Arc and Illusionist for charisma to hit and damage and some critical spell crit stuff here. Some charisma there, quality of life stuff. Tabaxi all the way up to the top for, I just like the mobility, I like being able to run. Um, and then when you look at her Epic Destinies, I've got Divine Crusader all the way to the top. And I've got a Splash and Grandmaster of Flowers and uh, the rest of an Exalted Angel for some, you know, survivability. But, I mean, just getting back to the point is her gear is just so, so dialed, dialed in. Um, three-piece set of Flame Cleanse Fury, which I know is giving me um, spell power to my positive and my light, and, you know, decent armor. Plus the artifact bonus is the thing I'm, I like, I'm looking at, you know, I got 30% or 30 artifact bonus to fire force, light, and positive spell power, which is what she all does. 6% artifact bonus to fire force, light, positive crit chance. Artifact bonus to wisdom and charisma. Artifact bonus to spell DCs. Cool. Plus, I'm rocking a four-piece uh, winter set, which is giving me my legendary 10-point boost to boost my hit points. So, um, all good in the hood there. So, I've got my, my uh, Staff of Summer Solstice here, which, again, is my fire spell power. Obviously, the light is a little bit redundant because I've got it in the, the cape, too, but for the set bonus, we'll take that. I'm getting my insightful spell power from my legendary shard of Volum. And, you know, I've got a uh, profane well-rounded here, so that's a plus profane bonus to all my stats. I've got a quality charisma item here. So it's really, I feel like this build is really dialed in pretty well. And I'm looking at some of the stuff from Isle of Dread, and I'm seeing that, you know, yes, it's really easy to get these individual spell powers and the insightful spell powers, but I'm not seeing, you know, anything that's giving me my uh, spell crit. And I'm seeing that some of the artifact bonuses are not giving you any additional uh, stats. So um, I don't really want to give up my three-piece set because I don't want to lose my artifact bonus to my charisma and I don't want to give up my winter sex I don't want to lose a 10 10 hit points 10 percent hit points so I'm trying to figure out a way to fit in some of the um the new stuff for me is just I'm it's I'm finding it a bit challenging for example we're looking at these are uh the named items from well, let me level 31, where was I? From Isle of Dread. Uh, the Defender's Mask. This is uh, for a wisdom build, I'm not really wisdom, so let's just ignore that one. Um, find someone that's got some charisma here. Dread Isle's Curse set is wisdom. Defender of Terranoa set looks like it's wisdom. Uh, Dread Isle's Curse is like the big five-piece set, which is giving me a plus two profane bonus to all ability scores, which I'm getting 
you know. Profane bonus to melee and range power would be nice. Profane bonus to universal versus spell power would stack. Yeah, that's nice. Um, so just trying to find a way to make it all fit with without losing my you know existing artifact bonuses to stuff is where I feel like I'm having a hard time kind of fitting things in to upgrade my characters from level 29 gear to level uh, 31 gear. So there's some nice pieces. Um, Dread Isles, Legendary Dread Isles Curse set. But let's look at this. Uh, so the Defender of Terra Noa set here. Uh, artifact bonus to positive spell power, nice. Universal spell power and critical chance, that's about, about the same. Um, MRR is cool, but no stats. So no artifact bonuses to any of my stats, which feels like kind of a eh. The Echoes of the Walking Ancestor set. Artifact bonus to all DCs, artifact bonus to all ability scores. Some imbue dice is nice, but there's not a medium armor option here. I've got light armor, you know. So it's kind of tough to, you know, the builds that I'm running to uh, kind of squeeze things the way that I want to squeeze them at the moment. So while I do enjoy Isle of Dread, and I do see that there's some interesting combos to play with, um, I am struggling trying to wrap my mind around ways to you know, improve what I've got going and a couple of my builds. Hope you guys are having better luck with it. You know, I think what I'll end up doing probably is making some space in her bank and just gradually swap some pieces in and out with, uh, you know, a gear planner of sorts and see where I end up to uh, try to move forward as far as level 31 gear goes. Anyway, hope you guys are having better luck with it than I am. Hope your brains aren't as frazzled as mine is. Have a good day. Catch you next time.